Next in group one we have Asif and he's going to be reciting Surah Al-Fatiha. <laughs> Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Deen Iyaka Narbud wa Iyaka Nastain Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladina Anamta Alayhim Wa'idil Maghubi Alayhim Waladwalim Amin Mashallah. Next, uh, we have uh, three deciders from the room two. Uh, first will be Mariha, and she's going to be deciding Surah Al Fi. Next, we have a speech by 
Satan. Why 
We'll be presenting a short play based on charity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, observe prayer and give the obligated charity. Whatever good things you send in advance for yourself, you shall find it with Allah. Scene 1. A young boy is sleeping on the street and he wakes up in need of charity. Charity, please, Charity, I don't know where my parents are. They left me here. Please help me. A man, a man walking by puts some money in his cap. There? What? The young, the young boy is in need of a lot of church. He constantly begs for money. Two friends greet each other at the street and start talking about their lives. The young boy asks for help. Thank you, brother. Thank you. What the friends? The young boy is in need of a lot of Without the church. But the friend rushed to the young boy and asked him what happened. Charity, please, Charity. Uh, what's wrong, brother? What's wrong, brother? Brother, my parents left me here. It was sad. Sad, sad. Don't worry, brother. We will help you. Come with us. Thank you. 
keywords mean God, who is great and glorious, while still possessing peace. Al Dhamni Hadith 586. The Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu also said, Give charity without delay, for it stands in the way of calamity. Al Dhamni Hadith 589. The Emperor's of Church. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, the believer shared in the day of resurrection will be his church. Al Tahdi Hadith 604. The Prophet also said, Every act of witness is church. Saleh Muslim Hadith 496. Uh, I think we had some uh, difficulty with the sound. So apologies for that, but uh, we're going to move on with the program. Inshallah, next we have uh, a Ramadan Nasheed by the students, and uh, I'm going to invite them on stage. Right? Start, start. You're not ready?
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. There's something important I need to talk to you about. Well, okay. Yeah, okay. Just take a seat and I'll tell you.
on the blackout. It was not intentional. Next, we have, uh, we're going to move on to the recitation contest. We have group 3 and group 4 coming up. So, I'm going to call on stage. So, for group 3, first on stage is Zahra. And she's going to be reciting Surah. Zahra, not here. Never mind, Zara is not well and she's not going to be here with us today. Uh, so, next we have Ayan and he's going to be deciding Surah Al Zalzala. Oh, mashallah. Wow. Mashallah. Mashallah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmad Ahmad and I am going to recite to Allah. 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 Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Arif Hussain and I will be reciting Surah Al Takathur today. Auz billahi min al shaytanir rajim. Bismillahi al rahmanir rahim. Al hakum al takathur hatta zurtum al maqabir. كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألون يوم إذ عن النعيم Right, that was group three. Next, we have the first participant from group four. Uh, so, Shamiha is going to recite from uh, Surah Al Ahzab, verses 35. Verse 35 from Surah Al Ahzab. Assalamu alaikum. I will be reciting Surah Ahzab Ayah number 35, Inshallah. Awuz billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna al Muslimin wa al Muslimat wa al Mu'minin wa al Mu'minat wa al Qanitin wa al Qanitat wa al Sadiqin wa al Sadiqin wa al Sadiqat wa al Sabirin wa al Sabirat wa al Khashin wa al Khashiyat wa al Mutasaddiqin wa al Mutasaddiqat wa al Sa'imin wa al Sa'imat wa al Hafizin wa al Hafizin Fuluzahum wa al Hafizat wa al Zakirin Allah Kasirahum wa al Zakirat Atta Allah Mashallah. Next we have next we have Ben and he's going to decide ten uh, ayahs from Surah Al Baqarah. Yes. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The last participant for this recitation contest tonight is Zaid Khan and he's gonna recite Surah Al Fajr. Al Fajr. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Zaid Khan and I'm gonna be reciting Surah Al Fajr. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. والفجر وليال النعش والشفع والوث والليل إذا يس هل في ذلك حسب لذي حي ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العماد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصخر بالواد وسمعون ذي الأوتاد الذين تغوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك سوت عذاب إن ربك لبالمرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا ما بتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وأما إذا ما بتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه فيكف ربي حانا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحادون على طعام مسكين وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما كلا إذا دكت الأرض دكا دكا وجاء ربك والملك صفا صفا وجيء Allah 
I hope you guys enjoyed that slide show presentation. Next week we're going to take five minutes break while we set up for the award ceremony. And, uh, so give us five minutes, please have patience. And we're going to start with the award ceremony show, inshallah. Award Lene, ready ho jau, Baba. in the order order mein hai to iske naam aise le lete hain na iske ispe hi naam bol ke padh ke de dega ha bhai wo bhi hai acha the number mein hai acha so the set up karne ka hai ha
Every single day in your home regarding your homework. Probably you ask them five times coming back from the school whether they finish their homework or not because you want to make sure the children will get A or B or pass in the class. But I don't know how many of you ask the children whether they give the salah or not. Whether they decide the Holy Quran for five minutes, whatever the lesson they got, whether they practice 
recitation of the Holy Quran or not. So it is very important that you bring the deen, not only in the family, but also in the life of these children, because these children are growing up in America. They are the future of Islam in this country. They are the future Muslims. So if they're sitting home, watching television, playing games, and spending their times, don't feel sorry for them. They can spend half an hour to come to the masjid to learn how to read the Holy Quran. Make an effort. Allah will give you the jazai khair, or you're going to be asked on the judgment day that why not you make your children learn to read the Holy Quran. So it is your responsibility, and make sure you fulfill the responsibility. Jazakumullah khair. Do you have a lot of parents for those wise words? We should all heed the advice. And if you have not been sending our kids, we should quickly get them enrolled, inshallah. Next, I'm going to also call on stage uh, our Hafiz Saab. I don't think a lot of you know that we have a prominent Hafiz now at the Masjid. And Imam at the Masjid. We please have him on stage, inshallah. So without further ado, we're going to move on to the distribution of the prizes. So first on stage, I'm going to invite, this is for the drawing competition for boys under the age of 8. The winner is Shamin Ahmed. Under the age of eight, Aisha Karaba. Aisha. 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 One, one this way, and then. All right. Next, for the same drawing competition, for boys eight and up, Mahir Rahman. For girls, 8 and up, for the drawing competition, Jafreen Rahman. Alright, so next, we also had a sports day recently. So these are the awards for the sports day. First we have a 50 meter sprint for boys 8 years and under. The gold medal goes to Zaid Khan. For the 50 meter sprint for boys under the age of 8, the silver medal goes to Ibrahim Malik. Alright, for the 50 meter sprint for girls under the age of 8, the gold medal goes to Adiva Raisa. The silver medal goes to Fiza Mahmood. <laughs> now for the 50 meter sprint for boys ages 8 and up, the gold medal goes to Farish Mahmood. 
The silver medal for the same event goes to Alvi Ahmed. For the same event, for girls 8 and up, the gold medal goes to Tasfiya Islam. Tasfiya Islam is not here. We have Tasfiya? No. Alright, we'll hand that over to her later, inshallah. The silver medal goes to Jafreen Rahman. Mashallah. The next race we had was the lemon race. For boys under the age of 8, the gold medal goes to Zaid Khan. The silver medal goes, the silver medal goes to Zain Abdul Rahman. Adiba Raisa, gold medal. Silver medal to Fabia Asad. Right for the lemon race, for boys ages 8 and up, the gold medal goes to Iram Rahman. The silver medal goes to Benjamin Fragment. For the girls, the gold medal goes to Jannah. Jannah is not here. Right, Jannah is not here. The silver medal goes to Nishat Tasneen Imtiaz. She's not here. Nishat Tasneen Imtiaz. Yeah. And she's not here. Yeah. Next, we move on to the sack race. For the boys ages 8 and under, the gold medal goes to Zay Khan. goes to Mahir Rahman and Iram Rahman. For the girls, the medal goes to Nishat Intiaz and Adiba Raisa. Oh my God, who? Who are you? No way! 
The silver medal for the boys goes to Farish Mahmood and Zohair Farooq. For the girls, the silver medal, Mariha Rahman and Fiza Mahmood. Next we have, uh, so you guys just witnessed the recitation contest that we just had and we have the results for the same and the judges are going to hand out the, uh, the certificates and the prizes for that. Later, later, come back. Okay, I think we have Janna, she's here, so we're going to hand her a prize. Alright, for the recitation contest for group one, the winner is Adiba. This was for the recitation contest that you guys just viewed. For group two, the winner is Shami. For group three, the winner is Ayan Ahmed. Please uh, provide some closing comments, inshallah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum again. Uh, I have already said it, Alhamdulillah, it was a very nice program which was uh, done by the school of Islam, the teacher, with the help of all the parents and everything. So, Alhamdulillah, Jazakumullah Khair, we appreciate the whole community, appreciate you people. And Alhamdulillah, it's very nice to see all the children, especially the recitation. We are really pleased, Alhamdulillah, that these, some of these small children have they recited the long surahs and everything. And with the pronunciation, the tarafus, Alhamdulillah, Jazakumullah khair to all. And Allah will give you the great ajar for these parents who are making all this great effort. And don't forget the last comment which I made. Make sure you bring your children to Monday, Tuesday and Friday for the Quran class so they can learn how to read the Quran. Because only bring them Sunday for two, three hours is not make them perfect in the recitation. Jazakumullah khair,